Hey guys, Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be putting this class 3 trailer hitch on the old Toyota so we can pull the boat one step closer. Stay tuned, I'll show you step by step how to put one of these on. One of these Tacomas, pretty easy, just got to pull the bumper off. Hang tight and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is just like we did when we changed the bumper, we're going to unhook our lights. These are our license plate lights. Okay, put them up there. We'll put this up here out of the way. Now all we're going to do is take that bolt out, that bolt out, that bolt out and that bolt out. So there's two on each side. In case you didn't see the the bumper video. Now the hitch is going to go right up in between the bumper and the frame. And it's going to get bolted on with this hardware here. And then we're going to have a bolt come up through here on each side. So it's going to have six bolts holding it on. Okay. Rather than just four for the bumper. I don't like them bumper mounts never did but it's all we had at the time so I had a couple extra bucks I ordered her a trailer hitch it's from Kurt like I said in the beginning it is a class 3 trailer hitch uh, 2 inch insert I do believe also got this for I wanted to get a lighted one but Jesus man 30 40 bucks hell with that uh, it's a 2 inch receiver um, that means is this is your receiver your insert everybody just calls it a hitch it's not the hitch this is the hitch this is your receiver your insert is the piece that slides in that holds your ball on okay this is for your safety chains that's where you hook your safety chains at alright so and there's where the uh, bolts are going to come up through to the bottom of the frame here's a very detailed uh, tells you exa exactly what to do. It tells you the uh, uh, shoot. It tells you the uh, torque specs, what the torque mat. I just use. Uh, I'll just be using my gun right there. Um, yeah, it tells you there the M12 fasteners. 86 pound feet foot pounds half inch fasteners to 110 foot pounds all right i'm not going to need these but you guys might it will come with this now if you open up the box and you don't see a bag of bolts and stuff what they do is they'll stick them in here they'll tape them all up into a little baggie they'll be stuck in there and wrapped around with plastic so if you don't see them don't be alarmed that's where they'll be up in that hole right there okay and these are powder coated I put a lot of these Kurt hitches on. Um, I like them. I used to like Reese a lot, but I think I'm kind of sold on these Kurt hitches. Um, they're all pretty much custom. As you can see, this will fit all 1995 to 2004 Toyota Tacomas. It will fit all of them. There's your part numbers if you want to order one. Okay. It was like 140 bucks, guys can't beat that for a class 3 when they wanted you know 250 some for a class 2 200 dollars for a class 1 I mean did we need the class 3 no this thing's never going to pull a car you know but it's very versatile it'll pull anything that the truck can pull is I guess what I'm trying to say it'll definitely pull that boat alright guys let me get my tools down here and let's get them bolts out Okay guys, what I did was I took one out here and one out on the other side and the other two, all I had to do was loosen. Okay, because I'll show you, this thing should slide out of here now. It's, 
it really helps if you got a buddy because these things aren't real light and see if it's got see it's got these on here so I'm going to set this aside okay now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to get the hitch and I'm going to put it in the same way that this just came out I'm going to slide it up in now that hitch weighs 48 pounds so be careful if you're doing it by yourself then I'm going to get these bolts started to hold the hitch up then I'm going to put the bumper in and we'll put these bolts in right right there I'm going to show you what these do okay see how I got that make sure that's the flat parts down on the frame what these do is they go up inside here like this and they keep that bolt from turning okay so I'm going to Go ahead and start them. That way, once I get the hitch up in there, I can start my nuts on. And, uh, spider. Alright. So, you're going to want to go where the bolt turns. It'll be turning that way when you tighten it. That way when you tighten it. Okay, so let me get the hitch down here. Okay, so it's kind of in there. I just all I got to do now is I've got to get my bolt holes lined up right up in there. And then, because uh, I'll show you how far off they are right now. Okay. There's one right there. See that's slotted, and then there's one up there. You can see how far off it is. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to get these holes lined up and get a bolt started in them and then I'll tighten these ones up so this doesn't so the so the hitch doesn't move then I can just uh, slide the bolt the bumper right in and bolt it up okay guys we got that one started we got that one started and I went ahead and tightened them 
So this does not move. Now all we got to do is put our bumper on, which we shouldn't have an issue because those will go right through. And that also looks about like where the nut, where the nut was on the clean spot. Right there. Same way with this side. Okay, so what I'm going to do, since this bumper has some slotted deals right here, they're slotted, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to slide that bumper right up in there onto that bolt, slide it in there, and then I'll come down, raise it up, and get these two bolts in. Where you at? Shit. Get these two bolts in. Okay, so I'm going to set you outside here and I'm going to put the bumper on and then we'll snug it all down. Okay, now these, these here, where are you? These tabs right here, they're supposed to go in this, in these slotted holes here, okay? Now, you can take these off of this bumper, the brackets, bolt the brackets on, then put the bumper on, then adjust it, or you can bend them down. I'm going to try to take these brackets off and put them on. If it doesn't want to work right that way, you can just cut these off. That's what I would do is just grind them off, grind it all flat. But first I'm going to try to go ahead and take the, br the brackets off, get them started on, then we'll bolt the bumper onto the brackets. Okay, so I took this bracket off over here you can see and these just didn't want to line up with them slotted holes they had so I'm just going to cut them off it's not going to hurt a thing guys relax because you're not going to be putting any kind of weight on that bumper it's all going to be on the hitch anyway so I'm going to get this one cut off and we'll stick the bumper back up in there again Okay guys, I'm just going to tighten these bolts up. I'll show you what it did. Okay. It just uh, slides right up in there. Just like that. Then I started the other two on both sides. Now I'm going to tighten them up. And we should be ready to rock and roll. Okay guys, there it is. It's all done. I need to get a cap for that or stick a bolt in it or something um, except for one thing 
put your favorite little insert thing in there there we go that won't come out now they make uh they make mounts for these where you can mount them up here on your bumper or wherever and plugs in there i just always put mine right there won't catch on anything good to go less shit to rust out you know so there it is everything's all nice and tight as you can see not that noticeable unless you got your insert still in there but these trailer hitches have caused more harm to people than guns I think <laughs> walk around here and you forget your inserts in there and you bang your knee so it'll be coming out when we're not pulling the trailer there it is there's the information 5,000 pound gross trailer weight 500 pound tongue weight 6,000 pound weight distribution 600 pound weight tongue or uh, WD <laughs> tongue weight Jesus get it out of there so we'll never be pulling anything heavier than that over there so we're not going to be pulling campers or anything like that but it's always good to have a class 3 hitch you know $50 25 to $50 more you get a class 3 alright guys here you go I'm going to plug my license plate lights in and I'm going to sign off okay guys Shaper 1000 that's how you put a hitch on a 95 to 2004 Toyota Tacoma all models um, I know they, they call them direct fit um, sometimes you might have to do a little fabricating like a lot of the Fords it'll tell you no drilling like this one will say no drilling but a lot of the Fords you'll have to enlarge the holes which is drilling but um, and those tabs all they're for is really to hold that bumper while you get your bolt starter when you're putting it on they do nothing so it's all right if you just want to cut them off if they fit in them holes that's fine but they probably won't just go ahead and cut them off it doesn't hurt a thing it doesn't do anything to the structure of your bumper besides if somebody hits you or hits us again um, they're just gonna you know they're gonna wipe out the front of their truck or car or whatever they hit with because the that class 3 hitch is on there pretty good but anyway that's how you do it I know I didn't show you tightening the bolts but you get it you know I don't want to bore people with that sometimes I show it and I'll speed it up but you know to me that's boring okay you get it you took them bolts out now they gotta go in so anyway hopefully this will help someone um, I think it'll fit different things I'm not positive like uh, some forerunners or and, and stuff like that or are pretty close I know if you can get one off of a off of a Toyota Tacoma about the same year of a you might want to look it up but I'm pretty sure um, the four runners I think it's the four runners that it'll it'll fit um, but you'd have to do just check your holes measure your holes and I think it'd be alright but 1995 to 2004 Toyota Tacoma alright guys I'm sitting in the truck cooling down a little bit. It's raining. Just beat the rain. And I just kind of threw my tools up in here. So I got to get them out for Monkey. I'll do them a little bit later. And um, we'll chat at you guys soon. So thanks for watching guys. Shea Bear the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. Y'all be cool. And um, hopefully this helps. So enjoy the rest of your week and be safe guys. Bye bye and take care.